Bonzi Valley, an impressive 12-2-1 going into senior night as they host Nequa Valley, who's nipping on the Warriors' heels at 8-3-4. Opening up with the first half of play and Wabonzi's Roxy Zeba is bringing the ball up. She centers it to Megan Burling and it ricochets wide right. Minutes later and Nequa has a solid offensive chance in the box. The Wildcats pushing it back outside and Shannon Tagler then lets it rip. Just a little too tall and more scoreless. Nil-nil game midway through the first half. Jennifer Garcia lobs a pass that finds the foot of Grace Setter. And the junior takes a sand wedge to it, chipping it in for the game's opening goal. Moving to the second half and we're 10 minutes in. Nequa Valley sets up for the free kick and Danielle Hopkins is able to perfectly place the precision poke past the outstretched arms of the goalie. This one is all knotted up at one. Just a few minutes later and it's the Warriors turn to take the free kick. Garcia lops it in and tries to connect on a long range call with Setter, but the call is dropped and the game stays tied. Following a throw in by the Wildcats deep in Warrior territory, the ball gets centered and then pinballs around before Hopkins appears out of nowhere to send a laser beam. Suddenly the Wildcats are in upset mode leading 2-1. to one. Just a few minutes later in history appearing to repeat itself. Off the throw in, Wabonzi has it bounce around. Burling then takes control, carries it to an empty space, finds a lane and curls it in. Match once again tied, it's 2-2. Two to two. Three minutes to go in the game and Wabonzi's on the prowl. A missed pass gives Nikwa a chance to clear, but the attempt goes off the body of Burling and deflects in. Her second goal gives Wabonzi a 3-2 lead. Waning moments and pandemonium in front of the Warrior net. Wildcats desperate to score, but Wabonzi keeps the twine clean and survive, winning 3-2. Oh my gosh, just being in the right spot, I guess, at that moment. And just as soon as I saw the ball, just kind of slip past her hands. Oh my gosh, it was the best feeling ever. Just disappointed. I mean, we had so many chances that we should have put away. We just so close and we just couldn't, couldn't put it in the back of the net.